Hi guys, so today you're getting ready with me for work. Now when I go to work I don't tend to spend a lot of time to do my hair and makeup. A lot of the time I just tend to put my hair in a bun or in a plait and I do very minimal makeup as well. It doesn't take me very long at all. So this video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me and I really like watching these videos and I thought that I'd do one of these so I can interact with you guys. Also I just want to say a very big thank you to all of you subscribers. I went on my channel last week and I noticed that I hit 2,000 subscribers which is incredible and I am going to be doing a giveaway but just bear with me because it is the beginning of the year so I'm a little bit behind on a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready for work and if you want to see how I do this then just keep watching. So before I do my foundation I always prime my skin and today I'm using two drugstore primers. The first one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and I did do a full review on this which I'll link down below for you and I am pretty much running out of this. I've bought about three of these. I love it and it helps me stay matte all day as well. So I'm going to put this on all of the areas where I get super super oily so on my forehead and a little bit down the bridge of my nose as well and a little bit on my chin. And the other primer that I'm using is the Maybelline Baby Skin and I've had this for about a year now and I stopped using this after a little while because I just felt like it wasn't really doing anything to my skin, it wasn't really minimising my pores. I have huge pores on my nose and also on my cheeks and I can't really find anything to get rid of them. I did use a Benefit Professional but I stopped using it after a while because I just felt like that wasn't really doing much. But this seems to be working pretty well on me at the moment. I mean, it is minimising my pores. And like I said, my pores are absolutely huge and I can't find anything to get rid of them. I have heard quite a few different home remedies to help get rid of pores. And the one that I am very intrigued about is the one where you put egg whites on your skin and you use it like pore strips. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but if you've tried it and it works, just let me know and if there are any other home remedies for pores then also let me know about those because I will literally try anything to get rid of these giant pores. Because I'm using a more full coverage foundation today I'm going to do my eyebrows first. If I'm using a medium or light coverage foundation then I'll do my eyebrows after I've done my foundation. The thing with me is when I do use fuller coverage foundations if I do my eyebrows afterwards it's pretty hard to shape because a full coverage foundation is pretty much set on the skin and it sort of wipes off the foundation a little bit but if you have a medium coverage foundation then it's so much easier to do. So today I'm using a NYX micro brow pencil and this is in a shade espresso. Now I'm not really sure how I feel about the colour of this, it is pretty red, I'm not sure if you can see but my eyebrows are pretty dark as you can see on here, they're pretty much almost black, they're like a very very dark brown. And when I first got this I really did like it, I love the shape that it is, I love the way that it makes my eyebrows look but I just feel like it's just a little bit too red for my eyebrows. I really wish that they had a shade that was between black and espresso but they don't. So I am also thinking about getting HD brows done for my holiday in America. I am going next month and the reason why I was thinking about getting HD brows is because I can't really be bothered to do my eyebrows every single day and yeah my eyebrows need to be tamed a little bit because I'm not in any shape and to get any shape I have to use brow pencils so if you have had any HD brows and you've had any good or bad experiences then just let me know because I really really want them done and yeah I just think it will be so much easier for me as well. So I'm not really doing a bold shape today with my eyebrows I'm just pretty much going with the shape of my eyebrows just because I want it to look a little bit more natural than having really bold brows and because I have tiny tiny eyes it pretty much takes over my face if I don't have a lot of makeup on and I do bold brows. Normally I'll do bold brows if I'm going to be wearing a lot more eye makeup and it looks a lot better. So now that I've done the shape of my eyebrows I'm going in with my Rimmel brow this way and this colour is actually really really good against my eyebrows. It sort of sets the warmer tone of the brow pencil to a cooler tone which I really like and it just keeps my eyebrows tamed. At first I really hated this because I felt like it went all over my face and it just smudged everywhere but now I actually really do like it. It's really cheap as well. So for foundation today I'm using the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible matte foundation and like I said I'm using a more fuller coverage foundation because my skin just feels really red and I feel like there's going to be loads of blemishes that are going to be popping out so I want to cover those if they do decide to pop out today and I'm using my Real Techniques sponge just to blend all of this in. So last Tuesday it was my birthday and I just want to say a really big thank you to all you guys who gave me some birthday messages. I didn't even know that any of you knew where my birthday was and it was just so nice and sweet of you. I did have a really nice birthday actually. I 
had a really chilled day and it took me ages to get ready because I didn't have to go to work so I put the day off and I went to Costa with Neil and met up with my mum after work in town and it was just really really nice and then I went to Wing Wars a little bit later on with all of my family and Neil as well and if you don't know what Wing Wars is it is a Chinese restaurant but it's like a buffet style and they have loads of things like Indian food and English food and sushi and stuff like that but I'm one of those really awkward people because I like sushi but I don't like the fish sushi and the fish sushi was the only stuff they had they didn't have any vegetarian or duck or anything like that so I was really upset but we went to Wing Wars for my mum's birthday in September and she absolutely loved it and she became obsessed with it and she was like Chloe why don't we go to Wing Wars for your birthday and I pretty much didn't even have a choice we were gonna go anyway but I like Wing Wars so I'm not really too fussed so as you can see with my foundation you can't see any redness or any blemishes or anything like that and this is a really great foundation it's super affordable and I use this if I don't want to use my Estee Lauder double wear it doesn't stay on as long as the double wear foundation does but it's really nice and like I said I do tend to wear light to medium coverage foundations when I'm at work but today my skin just doesn't feel like I can get away with that so now I'm moving on to my eyes and I'm gonna do a very easy and simple eye look this is what I always do when I go to work I don't like to experiment a lot so it's gonna be really easy and simple to recreate this look and I do tend to go through a couple of different palettes every day I tend to choose whichever one I want so there are a couple that I really go to to do really easy and simple looks for work and for today's look I'm going in with my wild child palette from BH cosmetics I've used this a lot and I really do like it and the shades are really highly pigmented as well so like I said I'm gonna create a very easy and simple look for today um, and my makeup brushes do need to be washed just look at how disgusting these are I haven't washed these in like a week and look at all that powder that's coming off it's uh, not very nice but I'm gonna be washing these later on today so that won't be too bad so for my transition shade today I'm gonna go in with this shade right here the only thing that disappoints me about this palette is that there are no transition shades at all because none of them are matte they're all shimmer shades but I think it's good because they're baked eyeshadows and also you can go in with them wet and dry I have heard that if you go in with them wet they're very very pigmented and they're a lot better but I haven't ever used these wet before so I might try that soon And then for my all over colour I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here. It's like a pinky peachy champagne shade. It's really really nice and this is a shade that I mostly use as well. And like I said it's really pigmented and it stays on all day as well which I love. And if you want to know which eye primer I used, it's the same one that I always use in all of my makeup tutorials. And it's the Makeup Revolution eye primer. So I use that every single day. And then for the outer third, I'm going to go back in with the same shade that I used for my transition shade. I don't tend to use loads of different colours and I'm also going to be using the same brush as well because I'm using the same colour. I'm just going to pop this on the outer third. If there are any makeup tutorials that you guys want me to recreate or any ideas that you want me to do, then just let me know because I love creating new eye looks and new makeup looks as well. So now I'm going to use my blending brush and I'm just going to be blending out the top part of my eyeshadow and then I'm also going to be doing outer third as well and then I'm just going to be darkening up the outer third again a little bit more I'm not going to make this too dark because when I go to work I do want to have really nice eyes and I want them to be a little bit brighter and if you put a slightly darker shade in the outer third then your eyes will look a little bit bigger it's a little trick that I learned and now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to go in with this white shade here and I'm going to use my concealer brush. Now this is pretty small for a concealer brush, that's why I don't use it for concealer, I use it for my brow bone which I really like it for. I think it works a lot better to highlight rather than to conceal. And then for my concealer I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and this is in the shade Light. Now. I do really love this concealer, it's a dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear, the only thing is I can't wear this concealer when I'm not self tanned because it is really dark and it is the light shade, it's crazy and over here in the UK we only have the light and the medium shades and yeah, like I said, it's pretty dark for porcelain skin. 
So I'm just concealing my under eyes and also going down on the bridge of my nose. And I do go a little bit higher because I like to clean up where my eyeshadow is because a lot of people do tend to use the whole sellotape trick but I don't like to do that because I'm just a little bit scared of having sellotape near my eye. It just freaks me out a little bit and my sister does it and I know that Casey Holmes does it as well but it just freaks me out a little bit. I don't know if any of you guys are exactly the same but yeah I'm just a little bit weird with that. Now I know that I said that this look is pretty easy and simple and some of you are probably like why are you wearing so much concealer and the thing is I do have really bad under eye circles and it's just a habit that I do, I do it every single day, I just tend to highlight and also conceal my under eyes like that. And to settle my concealer I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm using my Real Techniques Contour Brush and I don't really use this brush for contouring, I don't think it's really that good for it so I use it to set everything under my eyes and things like that and it works really well for that. For contouring I do tend to use my Zoeva face paint brush which is this one right here and this one works incredibly because of how thin it is right there. Next I'm going in with blush and today I'm using my Makeup Gallery blush in the shade Candy Floss and I have used this almost all the way up. This is the one from Poundland, it's really highly pigmented, it lasts a very very long time, it lasts all day on the skin as well. I just absolutely love this and I don't get why people are going to spend a lot of money on blushes when you can get this one really cheap and affordable for just a pound and it works really really well. I do have two different shades of that blush but I think I'm going to have to buy some more of them because yeah I love it so much. So for today's eye look, I'm not going to be using any felt liner or any gel liner or anything like that. I'm just going to be using pencil eyeliner and I'm using my NARS eyeliner in the shade Viva Nito and my Rimmel Soft Car Pencil in the shade White. Now I absolutely love this NARS eyeliner. It's actually a lot better than my Smashbox eyeliner and I was obsessed with that for a very, very long time. I did get this in a NARS Glossy Box and I'll link the unboxing down below for you so you can check that out and what I got in it. So I'm just using the black one for my upper waterline. And then it's going to go a little bit on the outer third as well. I absolutely hate my face when I do eyeliners. I don't know if any of you are exactly the same, but me and my sisters are the same when we apply mascara or eyeliner. Our faces just tend to go like that which is why I like to zoom in when I do my eye makeup because I don't like people to look at me and go like that because it's absolutely crazy <sighs> and then I'm going to use the white eyeliner for the lower waterline and also where I haven't placed the black and also a great thing we're using the white on the lower waterline and also in the corner is that it makes your eyes appear a lot larger and because I have tiny eyes I like to get as much bigness as I can for my eyes and before I do my mascara today, I'm going to be curling my lashes and this is just a normal eyelash curler. I don't know if this is a specific brand or anything. My mum actually gave this to me. But I'm going to do 30 pumps on my eyelashes. And I don't see why you need to spend a lot of money on an eyelash curler. All eyelash curlers do exactly the same. And yeah, I just don't really see any point. And with this mascara that I'm using today, I don't even need to curl my eyelashes because it creates a really long curl on my eyes and really volumised. But today I want a little bit extra curl. And also the mascara does hold its curl all day as well. And this is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. I did do a first impression on this, which I'll link down below. I have been using this for quite a few weeks now and I have to say I am pretty much obsessed. It makes my eyelashes super, super long and super thick. And it also separates my lashes as well. It did take me a very long time to work out how to use this because it is sort of like a dry formula. And now I feel like I have the correct way of using it before it all dries up. And because I don't wear any false lashes for work, I do want to make sure that my eyes are a little bit more dramatic. So I do do about two or three coats of mascara on every day. So this is just one coat of mascara on this eye and just look how dramatic that is. There's a very, very big difference. I pretty much look like I have no eyelashes on there, but rest assured I do have eyelashes. They're just super, super fair. 
So if you guys have any first impressions that you want me to do, just let me know because I love trying out brand new products as well. I have got some new products in my little cabinet right here and I'm really excited to try those out. They're new ones that are at the drugstore and I've just ordered a new foundation from the drugstore as well which I'm really excited to try out. And I will be doing a first impression on that very, very soon. I just have to wait for the rest of my fake tan to completely come off. It's been on for about a week now and it's not fully come off yet. So as soon as that comes off, I will do my first impression for you. So now I've completely finished my mascara and just look at how long my eyelashes are and how thick they are. Before, it didn't even look like I have any eyelashes on. So if you compare them to before and after, it's a crazy difference. And I absolutely love this mascara. I'm pretty much obsessed at the moment. And then for highlighter, I'm using my I Heart Makeup Blushing Hearts palette in the shade Iced Hearts. And this is from Makeup Revolution. Now a lot of the time for work I just swell my blush brush in here and I use all of the shades and I just put it over my cheek but for today I'm going to do a separate blush to highlighter. So I'm just going to be getting my highlighter brush and I'm just going to be popping it in between these two here which are the two paler shades just tapping off the excess and then I'm popping these on the tops of my cheeks. So on my cheekbones right there and just look at that highlighter that is incredible and I really really do love this I use this pretty much every single day for work like I said the majority of the time I just get my blush brush and go all in the different shades and I don't even need to put highlighter on or anything like that because it looks like I have highlighted cheeks anyway and just look at my new cabinet thing right here this is the Alex drawers from Ikea and I put this up all by myself and I was so proud of myself I did put a picture on Instagram of this when all of the pieces were everywhere all on the floor and I did this all by myself and I'm so proud of it. I do have some marks on there from my hands when I get my foundations out and things like that but it's easily clean they're just wipe clean. I also noticed that when I had to look at all of my makeup and put it in these new drawers I realized that there are a lot of makeup products I haven't seen for like years and years. I have so many highlighters which is absolutely incredible and the majority of them are actually liquid highlighters and I don't even like liquid highlighters because they tend to make my foundation come off which is not good and I am going to be doing a makeup collection video very soon but if you do want to see it sooner than I'm planning to do it then just comment down below to let me know but I'm really excited I have so many products in here and so many products that I haven't even tried which is incredible so the last thing for me to do are my lips and when I go to work I tend to use my Maybelline baby lips or I use my Carmex lip balms because I just don't really want to have lipstick or anything like that for work and I just want to have my lips really nice and moisturized but for today I'm using one of my Avon lipsticks and this is a moisturizing one and this is in the shade pout and just look at how gorgeous that color is the thing that I like about this is that it really moisturizes my lips and also it's a really nice pinky color and it's not too bold or anything like that it's pretty nice and a little bit sheer as well so that's all of my makeup done and the last thing that I have to do is just take my hair down. I did already style this earlier on using my new me curling wand which is the one right here. I can't remember which size barrel it is but I'll let you know down below in the info box. So I've just done a couple of curls in my hair because like I said I don't tend to do a lot of stuff to my hair when I go to work. And the last thing for me to do to my hair is put some hair oil in it and for this I'm using the Beauty Protector Protecting Oil. I really do like this. I think I got this in a birch box and it smells so gorgeous and I've had so many compliments on the smell of my hair which is a little bit weird. I don't like people smelling my hair but it just smells like sweets and I can't really explain exactly what it smells like but it feels really nice for my hair and my hair doesn't get frizzy with this and yeah it just feels and smells really really nice so this is how my hair ends up looking for work just pretty easy and really laid back as well so now i'm ready for work and i'm gonna go to work very very soon if you enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me video then just comment down below to let me know and i'll be sure to do some more of them and i'll be putting all of the products down below in the info box that i use and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video guys bye